Hi folks, hope you're doing good. Uh, so quite a few number of people were asking me about how to have uh, these sort of pop-ups going in so that they can have their social links given or they can have their donation uh, IDs given. So I'll be showing you how to do that. It's very easy to do it. Uh, so yes, let's get started. So first what you have to do is that you have to go to a website called nerd or die n-e-r-d-o-r-d-i-e.com wherein you'll get this uh, pop-up for free i'll be giving the link in the description right so first you have to so first you have to navigate to um social media pop-up in under free overlays so it's the same thing that i'm using so once you're here i'll be giving this link as well in the description so here it uh, it'll ask you to name your price so because it's a free resource i'll go for zero and i'll add to cart right so once it is add, added to cart i'll go ahead and check out so here you have to give your email address billing information etc for you to complete the transaction and download this particular pop-up for free go ahead and give my name i'll give a country here so give your email address your name your country right and you have to check the policy here and you have to complete the order So once the order is completed, you have to go ahead and download the, po uh, the plugin. So you'll have the download link here. So download it. So I've downloaded uh, the pop-up file, the compressed file that comes with uh, this particular thing after downloading. So let's try to open it. So after extracting, you'll get a uh, fold, uh, folder like this go ahead and click on it uh, you'll have a file called readme right you gotta go ahead and open it when you open it you'll have a page this way right so here what you have to do is that you have to up you can upload images or you can use uh, ready-made images that he's giving what I'll do is I'll upload images, right? So for us, the goal is to have a donation pop up running wherein I'll have icons of Google Pay, Phone Pay and uh, Paytm, right? For now, I'll be using Google Pay and Phone Pay and then I'll show it to you how you can use it. But then you can have other multiple, uh, you know, donation pop ups going. I'll show you how to do it in a basic way so that you can adapt it to your own requirement right so i've taken two images of google pay and phone pay which are the logos of these two uh, payment services and um, i have made a square image out of it which is around 300 to 300 dimensions right 300 plus 300 the same 300 and 300 of phone pay as well so that they look square right so once I have got them, I've copied them here and what I do is I opened this uh, readme thing, right? It's readme. So I've opened that. So once after I open that, what I do is I'll upload images. So once I open it, I will upload Google Pay image first so I can see the preview here. Once I upload Google Pay logo or the image in png form i'll have it here i'll upload another one which is phone pay i'll get it here now once you do the upload you'll have them populated here so it'll ask you to enter the text that you want to display with google pay against this one and phone pay against this one so i'll go ahead and give give my phone number which will be the donation number for google pay and phone pay right i'll go ahead and give that aid so i have the same phone pay number as well 
right so i'll go ahead and click the download image i'll have icon hyphen sheet dot png downloaded in the same way i'll go ahead and download settings right this is also important for you to have the pop-up up and running so i'll go ahead and keep this file which is data values.js so for now i'll keep these two aside we'll be dealing with it in a few moments right but then after that what you have to do is that you have to go to the top of this page and then check out line number nine wherein you have a link to set all the appearances and styling of this particular pop-up that we are planning to have on our stream so click on that so you'll have all these options going to customize your uh, styling of uh, the pop-up right so here you have multiple options which you have set so first one is a pop-up uh, pause time so this is the time uh, to pause between each network right so what i've done is that i've given um one second say one second will be a pause time between each network network is in the sense the page that will be displayed or uh, the number of pages and the time in between them right the amount uh, in between pause time so basically we're using phone pay and google pay right so first one is a time between google pay and phone pay that it is asking for you to set and then the second one in between pause time is the overall time uh, for it to restart playing this animation again so i'll have it as uh, um, one second again right so for icon box uh, what icon box is the box uh, is this box what i will do is that i will um, have transparent color set Ch click on change color make sure it's transparent you have to scroll down right so this will be transparent text box color is a color here of the phone number that will go here or the social network uh, link that will id that will be giving here so here i will go ahead and have something like this because i'm primary valorant streamer i love having valorant pink color there right um so icon color is a color of of this one basically uh so for the icon color um drop down the opacity to transparent so that it will be showing in the native colors of your um icon right if you don't want you can have a color set so that it'll be showing it in the color that you choose here right and the font color that you want here in this particular box text box right so i want it white so i'll retain it the same way so the fonts i um so what what you can do is that he has given a, a pre-populated list of fonts uh, so i'll be checking on aclonia or probably acme would be a good idea here good option here uh, the font weight is something he's asking us to set font weight is nothing but boldness how bold you want it to be right i have set 600 and font size is something that you have to set as well so the default font size is 40 so i'll be going ahead and increasing it a bit or probably this would do right text y offset is something that you can ignore or if you play with it the um, text would be offset vertically up or down so make sure you have it as zero go ahead uh, and download this right download this too and you have to keep this file as well i'll open the download folder where i have all these three files downloaded right these three are the ones that i've downloaded i'll just cut these i'll open my pop-up um, extracted folder that you have done before you have to go to pop-up files you have to go to settings and images paste all the three here right you have to cut all the three that you've downloaded and paste it in settings and images this is an important step so once you have uh, pasted all the three files which are the two js.js .js files and one png file 
in settings hyphen and hyphen images folder and pop-up files folder that you have extracted recently right um, go back to pop-up files you'll see two HTML uh, files this way left social media pop-up v2 and right social media pop-up v2 so I'll go ahead and open this in browser and show it to you how the ones that we have created would look like right so this one is putting your number to the left and then bringing the icon or the logo to the right right and hence it is named left social media pop-up so left is your id and right is the icon so similarly the below one would be opposite to the one that we have seen and this will pop up from left and then the id is to the right and then the logo is to the left right so this so he's not a die by default is giving you two variations of the pop-up that you want on your screen towards the left or towards the right whatever you want you can use from either of these two files right so i'll go ahead and close these for now and uh, i'll be using the left media pop-up if you want you can use right media pop-up as well so i'll be using this right so uh, basically what you have to do now is that you have to import this into your obs so now let me import this into obs so this is my obs screen right um first what i'll do is i'll create a browser source you have to click on plus browser source so here i'll give it a name mm, donations pop-up right once you're done with that tick on this uh, once you tick on local file it will give you a a text box to locate your file the browser file which is html file right i'll go to browse it's in my desktop it's in my pop-up i'll go to the one that i've extracted so the pop-up files and then i'll have the left social media pop-up v2 right this is the one that i want to have i'll open it um shut down source when not visible Ref refresh when scene becomes active i've ticked right and then i click on ok right now i have this in my screen now what i'll do is that i'll adjust the dimensions press ctrl and adjust it here so that it'll become small or big based on your requirement so for me this size would be best right now click on alt and adjust it so that you'll be cropping it right i'll be adjusting it to this size I've, I've been clicking on alt and then adjusting it here so that this will not take much of a space right i'm done here now what i'll do is that i'll adjust it and i'll have it here this is my screen and then this is the pop-up that will be going right so this is how you can have a basic pop-up on your stream and uh, you can have multiple varieties of these you can have your social links you can put a facebook youtube insta like i have probably you can have your donation id is going in which looks very beautiful and so ending this video thank you so much if you love the video please make sure you like and subscribe and if you want any such sort of tutorials in future please make sure you comment on what you want i'll try to make them very soon thank you so much stay safe